All right. So in the previous lesson, we looked at the mail commands for the skeleton generator window. Uh, in this one, we're going to continue with the characterization tool. So I um, had my skeleton here that's uh, created from the skeleton generator and was locked in the skeleton generator window. Therefore, the characterization here is already done. So I've imported uh, what will become a source mocap from the uh, visor, right? So it's just the mocap is just this one here I've imported and I just went to bind pose. So all this stuff that we already know how to do from Mel. So if we look at the script editor here, right? I'm just gonna bring this up here. The first thing I want to do is to rename the character and because the character name here is really what drives the name of the character, so in this particular node, I don't really need to use an HIK specific mail command. I could just use the typical rename command. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. We see that the it's updated here, but it's also updated here in the characterization tool. It updates automatically because currently it's my only characterization. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new characterization and rename that one source. All right, so it renames it source. And it's important to know that because this is mocap that was imported, the skeleton so the name of the skeleton won't be picked up directly from the characterization tool. So we really need to go ahead and start mapping these. Normally we would select and do right mouse button, but I want to do everything through Mel. So the way to figure out how to get it to be mapped, if we go to the name match, we'll see that there's 15 nodes that are required, right? And with the mail command, the set character object, root being the name of my joint, source being the name of my s character, and one being the placement. So literally from 1 to 15, I have the root, the thigh, the knee, so on and so forth. I will highlight this and click on execute. And unlike um, like many things, sorry, in the car in the HIK, and unlike many things in regular Maya, the window doesn't update. So if I start and I try to characterize this right now, it will give me an error, right? I really need to rebuild my object list. So refresh my window in a way. Once I just do that, right away I get an update. And my validation status becomes green. I'll go back to this tab over here. Once I have this, this is the command that we saw with the skeleton generator, and I'll just lock it. It was characterized successfully. There is an error because the feet was below the ground. We've seen this in previous lessons, right? If I want to change from uh, the source to the target in order to create a control rig, I need to create, set the, sorry, I, I need to set the current character to the global variable and I need to again once again refresh my character list. So I change my variable and I refresh my window and we'll see here that it updates. And this is really how I'm going to start going and playing with my character that's the target or the skeleton. If you're going to create rig, if you're going to delete rig, so on and anything like that, you really need to set this first. I, so I have the target selected. I'm just going to create a rig. Takes a few seconds and we'll see that Maya gave me the typical HIK rig. Okay. If I want to delete, I just, same thing, characterization, control rig, delete, and it's deleted. So now that we've seen how to characterize with Mel, let's start uh, looking at the character control. 